It's A1 Andre back with another video. Thanks for stopping through. By the way, if you're new, hit the subscribe button and leave a like. That'll really help me out a bunch. But anyway, let's get on to the video. All right, so in the last video I made, I tried to debunk what was happening in the trailer with Ben Simmons or what he said. This time, I ain't gonna try to de 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 debunk. Whoa. I'm not gonna try to debunk what was said this time around with the whole 2K21 card thing because a guy by the name of Fear Glizzy on Twitter, shout out to Fear Glizzy, he already debunked it for y'all. So I'm just gonna be talking about in this video what I think that, you know, the last part of the card is talking about, you know what I'm saying? You know what, matter of fact, there's probably some of y'all that ain't seen the car yet. And also I'm gonna make the video a little bit longer. So, <laughs> so the car reads, or well, the original car read that is, want to get to the blank, major in blank, or make a splash. Feel blank of a sold out crowd, then make blank or blank with a blank. <laughs> I'm gonna stop saying blank. You're about to see space from a new perspective. Get ready, NBA 2K21. And at the bottom it says, Wait, you thought we forgot about the neighborhood? It's now the blank. I just said blank again. All right. I'm kind of retarded. Of course, shout out to the 2K community for finally doing something right. Let me stop. Nah, um, so this car you're seeing on screen is the same car as the red one. It's just held up in a black light. So you can see what it actually says. So like I said, shout out to whoever did this. But um, basically, if you haven't seen it, the car reads, and quote, want to get to the big stage, major in the aerodynamics, or make a splash in the G. Feel the energy of a sold out crowd then make the night or run it with a buzzer beater. You're about to see the game from a new perspective. Get ready. Now, whoever took this picture decoded the actual card, but what's his name? Like I said earlier, Fear Glizzy actually debunked the card. Basically what I mean by that is, he gave his interpretation of what this means. You know what I'm saying? So on Twitter, Fear Glizzy put something that said, my translation, which means what he interpreted, like I said. So it says, want to get to the next level, major in college or make a splash in the G League. Feel the energy of a sold out crowd, then make the NBA or run it with a buzzer beater. You're about to see NBA 2K21 from a new perspective. Get ready. And then he says at the bottom, what his, what his interpretation that is, it says, wait, you thought we forgot about the neighborhood? It's the streets now. So he thinks it means that, I don't know what that really means, but what he's saying, he's saying he thinks it means it's the streets. So that's, that's his interpretation. So now let me get my interpretation on a deeper level. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that his level ain't good. I'm just saying that I'm gonna go more in depth about what I think he means. Not even about what, what I think he means. It's more so what I, what I think it means. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna get my take on the my career side first, then the neighborhood second. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now to put this in short, I think it's dope because looking at 2K my career in the past, you never had a chance of where you wanted to go or where you wanted to play. You know, 2K 14, 15, and 17, you just went straight from college to the NBA. In 2K 16, you played in high school and in 2K 18, they try to change it up and make you play like as a guy off the streets or whatever, which made no sense. 2K 19, you started off overseas and in 2K 20, you started off in college again. Other than draft stock from 2K 16 and 17, and I think 14 as well, you never had any choice over what happened in your my career story, you know what I'm saying? Like, and although that, you know, in every 2K so far, they've changed it up with the my career, which I commend them for that, they still never give you choice for what you did in your career. So, you know what I'm saying? This time, if this actually is true, you know, if Fear Glitzy's debunk is right, then that means that for the first time in, you know, my career history, we'll have control over whether or not we play in college or choose to go to the G League first. Because, you know what, let's take two basketball players, for example. Take LaMelo Ball and then take LiAngelo Ball. You know, LiAngelo Ball was at UCLA and his dad took him out to play for, I think, Lithu Lithuania, I think it's called. So yeah, like, his dad took him out to play in Lithuania along with LaMelo Ball. I feel like ever since LiAngelo Ball, LaMelo Ball was out of college and went, you know, the overseas route, other basketball players have seen that and they're starting to follow suit, especially because of LaMelo, you know what I'm saying? Because LaMelo ain't taking the traditional route and I think he's supposed to be going to the NBA draft this year, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like LaMelo has helped pioneer the way for that. I believe something happened with the NCAA that's causing less people to want to play in the NCAA now, so they're going the you know, G League route instead. And 2K probably know that, so that's probably why they did this, you know what I'm saying? That's just what I think. So like I said, if the debunk is true, then like I said, we're going to have a choice for the first time in my career where we go with this, you know, the G League or, you know, the traditional college route. So that's my take on the my career side. So now let's go over to the neighborhood side of the new quote unquote redacted side. Now, everyone's saying that 2K is smart for putting the word redacted, including myself, because we're dealing with the 2K community. So you already knew somebody was going to do this. Now, if you don't know what the word redacted means, basically the Google definition is quote, censored or obscure part of the text for legal or security purposes. So yeah, like I said, 2K did this on purpose, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, in my opinion, what the redacted is going to be is going to be combining both neighborhood and park. And I'm going to tell you why. Okay, now when it comes to the neighborhood, the neighborhood is still somewhat of a new feature. The neighborhood got introduced in 2K18. So it's only been a feature in the game for like three installations. That's not that long in my opinion. So 
being that 2K got a chance to capitalize on it for the next gen, I don't see them taking it out. You know what I'm saying? If, if this was like the, the second installment on next gen, like for example, if this was NBA 2K22 on next gen and the neighborhood was already in the game and people didn't like it, then I'd see them taking it out then. But because it's the first time on next gen, I don't see them taking it out. And when it comes to part, people have been asking for part back for the longest, including myself. You know what I'm saying? I miss part affiliations. We all do. 2K knows that, so I don't see why they wouldn't put Park in the game and, you know, combine it with the neighborhood for those two reasons. They probably gonna do, like, the same neighborhood thing with Park affiliations tied to it. Like, take the neighborhood that we got right now, for example. In 2K21, the neighborhood we got right now could be called, for example, the Old Town Flyers. Then they can make another neighborhood because, you know, the PS5 and Xbox Series X is gonna have more system storage, you know, horsepower or whatever. So, they're gonna have more space for more neighborhoods and all that. They can have multiple neighborhoods in one game if they want to because, like I said, the next-gen consoles. So, let's just say, for example, the neighborhood we in, like I said, Old Town Flyers. You take that little train station, that little green staircase thing, that could be used to get to the same neighborhood, you know, but a different server. But because they can keep the neighborhood, what they can do is turn one of the stores in the neighborhood into a, like a travel station. So that way, you can travel into rival neighborhoods. For example, like I said, neighborhood we in right now, Old Town Flyers. Go into a travel station store, takes you into a rival neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Like a whole new neighborhood layout, a whole new neighborhood design. When you travel via the travel station, you could choose which rival neighborhood you want to go to. Get loaded up into a different looking neighborhood, boom. Sunset Beach Ballers. Man, I'm fired, man. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Put fire on it one time. It's just that simple. You know what I mean? It's, it's just that simple. Like, it's a concept that can be so easily inputted into the next game. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all today. That's going to do it for the video. If you agree with anything I said in the video, let me know down below in the comment section. And uh, yeah, also leave a like if you enjoyed. But uh, anyway, with that being said, it's been Edwin Andre, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. I thank y'all for watching. And until next time, I'm out. Peace, nigga.